Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you what happens when you neglect your eBay business and uh, for some reason you decided to shut the business for a while while you take a break. So as you can see this is my um, account and 2000 and December 2018 I decided to walk away from it a bit just leave it for a couple of months just shut the shut the um, eBay shop uh, I had about uh, 65 70 listings I decided just shut it and I'll show you what happens when you neglect it and you stay away for a while because you know in your, you have to deal other stuff and in this video I'm going to show you what happens when you do that so as you can see if I go down slowly um, I am still a top rated seller um, here we are, last 90 days, it's only showing me 22 pound and 50 pence of sale here. Um, I recently started listing up again as a private seller rather than a, a shop because I, I'm taking a different uh, path, a different route. Uh, rather than selling all sorts of um, bits and bobs, I'm going to concentrate just selling one particular type of item rather than selling whole loads of stuff. So, I have at the moment 46 unsold listings and Look at this. 2,681. Look at the, the amount I could sell per monthly. Almost 37,000 pounds worth of... And my limit is 37,000 pounds per month. As you can see here. Listing. And... Um, I'm still here. If I go around here, I was still top rated seller, top rated this, top rated that, all sort of thing. But um, everything is, is fine, but the sad thing is sometimes, you know, things pops up and you have to move away from things and, <laughs> and it's sad, but um, one has to do it. So if I were to go back, to the just to show you active listing now just recently loaded up so here we are I have 20 listing and started start selling as a private seller rather than having a shop and obviously um, it's almost been um, couple of days when I put up the listings and what I decided to do now rather than having all the bits and pieces I'm going to just concentrate on the trainer side of things that that was my main um, selling point and I was selling a lot of the trainers you know your Nikes of your world and this kind of stuff so I decided I'm just going to do one um, like a niche rather than trying to see how that goes so they've changed uh, so many things uh, a bit here what you can do now you can edit the price here there's a little like a pencil button you can change the current price right there and then so if you have if you see a um, item with the uh, watches on like we have here one watcher with this item there's a watcher here I could literally go there and change this 
the price so it attracts the attention of the watcher here so that's a good thing that's a new feature there's another watcher here uh, there's another one here so what they have done and recently they also given a promote it you can promote your listing um, you know that's a new added bonus there sell and um, obviously if I go back again and to ended items now here we are these are the ones that I'm not sort of keen on I'm not bothering anymore these hats and jeans and those ones now what I have done uh, I do have another eBay account so the these lot I'm sort of listing on a different eBay account just trying it on a bit um, so as you can see I have 31 limits uh, sorry not limit 31 items ended here which I'm thinking what to do with it to list it in the second eBay account or just to get rid of it completely I have listed a few items in the second eBay account of mine and I will just um, the reason for having a second account I was thinking of having building a I um, dropship account drop shipping from other establishment and with that as also I got a bit bored with it you know drop shipping side of things so I'm testing a few other things so I'm, what I'm going to do now I'm going to log into the other account and show you what I've done on the other account so let's log out from this account All right and I will sign in to the second account of mine here just logged into my second account and let's go in have a look at my second account and there we are it's called Arumbo here and it's a, a recent account I got 33 feedback if I were to go to sellers and I've listed the the other you know your baseball caps and electronic things I used to sell on the main account I just put them up here hopefully they're gonna do well it looks getting a lot of interest here now because I'm a I just I'm I'm established uh, eBay seller for many many years with this new account of mine um, if, if I go to overview right now instantly um, I think I could show you somewhere here it's not a popping up on this new account of mine I have a limit of I think about five thousand pound per month selling limit on this new account so if you're a brand new seller 
you'll find it difficult to get kind of that kind of limit because you haven't proved or you need to prove to the eBay that you are a credible seller whereas because of my I've been selling for you know many many years it was for it was easy for me to convince them I needed a limit of high limit and which they given me so uh, the form at at this moment in time I'm just using this as a testing account and hopefully I will make this account into a, a drop shipping or other kind of stuff another niche sort of thing I'm thinking of right so I hope to you like this video and you know whatever you do in eBay world if you're thinking of you know taking a break um, it's difficult because once you take a break it's hard to go back to it again and you'll find um, you lose the momentum so I urge all these people, you know, some people who are thinking of stepping out and coming back, think about it. Because I'm, I'm now I'm realizing I should have just kept the shop going. And stepping back and shutting the shop was a mistake on my side of things because um, it will take more time for me to get back again to um when i left off it'll take a bit of time so it's beginning again of building myself up and see what happens so um but you know sometime one has to do what it has to do you know that's the case the other things in life is much more priority than this sort of, you know, your business. But luckily, I it's not something that I need to rely on. So I know a lot of you out there will only, you have to rely on your eBay business for your main income. And unfortunately, I don't need to do that. I have, um, I do have other jobs. So, so that was a good thing, having a job. If I never had a job, I would be struggling, wouldn't I? So, let me go back to my first account again. Alright, here we are. So, I do find it difficult when I look at that, the feedback of people and look. Like, Look at this. You know, it looks so so pretty. I mean, almost 1,300, 1,500 feedback, 1,354 feedback. It's really good. Everything was good. And now I realize. <laughs> It was a mistake for me to just walk away for a couple of months. There's nothing I can do. It was beyond my control. I need to just step away because this is um, causing me a headache. And every comment, look, see. So hopefully, hopefully I haven't done much damage to the, the business. And hopefully I can get back to my feet again. But... I'm sure it's going to take time because once you lose the momentum of your customer, once you lose those regular people coming to your site and it's a bit difficult for, to get back to normality again, hopefully I, I will. Um, but as I said, it's going to be hard to go back again. Because I can see um, 